Hello guys! We are going to enter the Palace of Twilight! And I'm just gonna do a lot of skipping, as you can see here. I'm just going to skip uh, to where we are actually entering in the um, Gerudo Desert and to warp into the zone called the Mirror Chamber. That's where we're gonna put the shards together, the mirror shards. Which we got from the earlier or previous, previously bosses. <laughs> and yeah! Enjoy the cutscene, and I will be seeing you in about six and a half minutes, or six more minutes though. Six and a half minutes out in the video, where we are going to enter the Palace of Twilight. So, be seeing you guys.
Alright, so we have just seen a cutscene where the sages admitted that they were responsible for what happened previously in the past. They also lost a fellow sage because that Gandalf broke loose from, his, from the chain and he killed that sage. So they sent him back to the Twilight World, or the other side we may, we may call it. And as you can see there is a right side uh, portion here of this dungeon or palace. And we will be seeing some Dakubabas and keys in here, you basically, and some uh, dark small beasts things. So we are also seeing uh, two falls here really on the left and right side, and there is actually more, because there are a total of four of them. Uh, they are like some um, falls with black falls in them. And I will turn a link into Wolf Link to the Wolf Orb, which we have seen a lot of times now in this game. And there is also some Psalm Tads uh, appearing from time to time, and you actually got to kill him. And maybe all the enemies here to get the small key, at least the head. And I recommend you using either a spin attack to kill it, or using the Wolf Link and press and hold the B button. Unfortunately, I had forgotten about that attack uh, when I, ca I killed the first uh, heads around in this dungeon or palace. So basically, we are just going to find some squares called Sol, S O L. And I think I might have taken it from Norwegian. Well, it illuminates the uh, Twilight World though. And um, yeah, uh, Sol, uh, if you pronounce it in Norwegian, Sol, that means sun. And yeah, the sun gives life and all that things, you know. Using the claw shots uh, is basically the claw shot, double claw shot, to get around. And yeah, there's not a whole bunch to do in this uh, particular room here. You may destroy the chests, I mean the pots around and get some rupees or recovery hearts from time to time. And uh, in this second part here, there will be a lot of fog on the ground. And if you enter it as a wolf link, I mean as a human link, Minna will be talking to you about being careful and all that things. I recommend you using the uh, senses to see through here. And all the fog is just being purple now, it's easier to see there. And I got hit, so I could not use my senses right there, but you can put them back on using the left or right button on the pad. And I will be returning two chests once I once we have killed that uh, sound tab thing. One of them will be containing the key and the other one will be containing a... Uh, well, I'm not gonna tell you. Before. I'm not gonna tell it before you have seen it. <laughs> and I also have to admit that I had to do some editation, uh, especially at this part of the dungeon or palace, because I lo lost the um, soul, which you're going to have with you. I lost it and had to go all the way back and pick it up with me. So you will be noticing at the end of this uh, video that I've actually gone from having lost two hearts to three and a half and that's because I had to go all the way back and got the some enemies and yeah I hate these beasts there uh, at the opposite side or direction uh, side yeah you will be finding the compass you will see here yeah you got the compass 
and it's very good to have, very handy in this dungeon, especially if you don't know where the boss key is. The boss key is hidden at a very cool part. That's where you know you should be Nintendo uh, hiding it that far away. Well, not that far away, but that high, I would say, compared to the dungeon itself. And to actually get up here, you have to go all the way back. And now if I turn into wolf, I'm not going to hear anything from you, Midna. I'm out there, and you got to use the claw shot now to get into the next room where we will be having a mini boss fight versus the Phantom Sound or Sound. But before that, I'm just gonna show you here on the uh, right side now for me, meaning the left side compared to where we came from originally. You will be finding another chest. Uh, I'm not gonna say what it's gonna have in it, but you gotta lose uh, yourself down to the bottom here. Just drop down and boom! You're gonna find two Daku Babas or Dark Babas though. Kill them with a sword. Uh, like take like only one or two hits. They're easy to kill. They're not a big threat at all. You see. And once you open this chest here, you'll be finding an orange rupee, which contains 100 rupees. That's what it's worth. And at the opposite side, you saw some blue-green uh, color... Yeah. Thing. <laughs> it's kind of like a boy thing. Uh, and that's where we are going to go when we are going, getting back out of this uh, room here. But now we are going to enter the mini boss. But before that, I'm just gonna get some recovery heart. For whatever reason, I did do it. <laughs> and there we go. We are now going to see Sant in his phantom uh, shape. Well, not yet. We are first seeing the soul, which is. Illuminating this world, particular world, being the Twilight world. Anyway, enjoy the boss uh, mini boss battle. It's not a whole lot to tell. He will be teleporting himself, and um, yeah, he will be coming with some uh, spears, I would say, some power spears or electricity thing he like. Out of it, they will be coming either bats or Dark Babas or whatever that will be. This first... Uh, maybe, I mean, both uh, are really easy though. But the bats can be rather annoying because there are a whole lot of them. Or not bats, but keys. So I suspect that we should be using the spin attack. And Sant himself will be teleporting around in the world. I mean, in the room. And you gotta hit him like four times before he can force himself. And a total of three times. Times four. We have been meaning like 12 hits to take him down. And then you're gonna have some fun puzzle with his soul. There's not a whole lot to tell you about it. It's very straightforward. Sans Sand, which is keeping it, will be chasing you. It will try to get it back. It's kind of like a uh, wall master, I would say. Not the floor master, but a whole. So, yeah. so enjoy the rest of this battle, and we are almost done with Sant now. There he is, and the final blow. He will put a big dark fog area at this ground, and to get rid of it, you have to pick up the soul. And putting the soul in the middle between there. You will rise a. Uh, yeah, you can see it at the ground. You can see the shape of it. There will be some sort of staircase thing. And if you need some recovery hearts, there are a lot of pots around in this room as well. Anyway, I will not be talking anymore for now. I will be seeing you in part number two. Enjoy the last few, three, four minutes now. Alright, be seeing you. Your ears, beautiful dust. 